Hi everyone, and welcome back to Beta for Warhammer Online. I'm Jeff Hickman, I'm the senior producer, and this is... Not Jeff Hickman. Paul oh, Barnett. Are we wearing hats? I, we were, it'll, it'll mess my hair up. We're not, we're not wearing hats. I don't like hats. Hey, do you like hats? Hats are out. It's Italian. That's good. It's I like that a lot. It's like war, war, like war Italian. Italian. It's like, like, that. like mine? Warhammer Online. Yeah, but the difference I, is mine was sent in by our, our loving fan base. This is true. It's yeah. very cool. Yeah, very cool. So... Talking of cool things, it's exactly what we're here to talk to you guys about. I want to uh, give you guys a little bit of an overview of some of the cool things that we've been working on for the last two months. Um, but uh, we, there's a... Huh? We need to do the big technical babble technological term you keep using. Oh, about beta. Beta. <laughs> Jeez. So, one of the things that we want to cover is that we're going to be... When, as we go back into beta, we're going to be doing it a little bit differently than we did before. <laughs> yeah. Right? You say it like that. You use the big gold again. Targeted... Iterative. Iterative, feature-focused, <laughs> this expanded is true. aminium. Yes, targeted, targeted testing. So instead of reopening beta for everybody to go in and just do everything, we have some very specific targeted tests that we want to do. So we'll be opening up specific areas of beta, having a test run in that area, then we'll close down beta again for a couple of days, open it back up in a different area to test those areas. And different like, systems. Looking for? And different systems, stuff. different places, different... Careers, it's you gonna, name it. Lots it's of different. It's stuff. gonna be cool. Also, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. So we're gonna open it up, and they're gonna see lots of really cool things. Mm -hmm. now, you, you now just want to give us like a big long list, right? I would love to. I've got like twenty things. Yeah, we're not doing that. that. I, well, <laughs> what do you want to do? Well, me and Josh, we talked about it. And, uh, well, you and Josh talked about it. What yeah. does Josh have to do with this? Well, he's he's been in Ireland, and he he had a long flight, and he had a couple of ideas. So um, when he came back, uh, he said uh, we, we should we should do something. So we we've actually got I got a prop. Okay. Oh, this is a good prop. This was sent in by oh, another one of our beloved fans. Isn't that awesome. Big, big chest. And it we, is great. Well, what we did is okay. uh, we. We've, we've this is full of the gold. Where's the gold? No, no. We've written in it lo lots of questions, lots of stuff. Oh lord. And what we're going to do is I'm going to randomly pick them out. Can I? And then no, you can't look. I randomly pick them out. Then you're going to talk, and then we're going to talk about them. <laughs> and that's what we're so, going to do. So you're going to you're going to put me on the spot with a bunch of unknown stuff well, on camera. Josh and I talked about it, and we thought we could do it your way, and then we thought, no, we'll do it his way. So, uh, see. so, so we're going to make it fair. You can cover cover my eyes up, and then I'm going to... Okay, I'll give it a shot. You can touch me. Okay. Yeah. All right, thanks. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, Dark Elves! Dark Elves! Hey! What, what, are we so, up the, the the, what do you got there, the, Paul? The, the, <laughs> nice. Checking the time it took us to change those that t good. Nice clock. Yeah, CJ. If any of those outtakes of us semi-naked make it to these podcasts, Jeff, yeah, you're dead. Dead. Yeah. So, Dark Elves. Let me let me talk a little bit about what the players are going to see. So, the first thing that we're going to do, the first targeted part of beta that we're going to open targeted, up. Targeted, iterative, clever Dentonian beta system. That's good. That, I like that. Yeah. So, the first targeted piece that we're going to do is we're going to give the players a sneak peek of the new Dark Elf starter area. So they're going to get four or five days to play around with not just two. Not just two. But three, three. Dark Elf careers. So those careers are... Oh, quick test for you. Go on, see if you can get them. Oh, boy. Um, the, the Disciple of Cain. What does he do? He's a healer, stabber, who chops people up and then heals people with the soul, soul power eyes. of their... Yeah. And they think he doesn't know and anything. Say <laughs> one. There's the witch elf. Sexy. We all know about the sexy witch elf. She's the roguish type. A couple surprises coming your way for that. And then there is the sorceress. And sorcerer. Okay, and sorcerer. Who uh, spell is casting super spell casting super nuker from range. Damage, damage, kill, yeah, kill, 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 kill. Damage, kill. Dark kill. magic. Oh. Emo, live forever, <laughs> black, cool, True. you know, black leather. And what you're going to be able to see in the dark elves is absolutely awesome. You can see black arcs, obviously. Mm -hmm. Dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. What, what are they actually called? Cold ones. Cold ones. Yeah. yeah. He reads the books. I read the books. Uh, you're gonna be able to, you know, go back, dishing out the damage to the high elves, beating them up, taking back your own land, putting up your own statues, yeah. burning things to the yeah. ground, yeah. Yeah. shooting Coming people home. with reaper. Coming home. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Dragons it's fighting. It's gonna be fantastic. Dragon duel. Well, your first glimpse of dragons in the game. Actually, the drakes. They're maybe the, dragons. The actual dragons are much much bigger later on. They're still pretty know, big. They are pretty big. Huge towers. They're awesome. Magic effects. Yep. The, the orcs and chaos working with them. Mm -hmm. Crazy, awesome public crazy quest. chaos magic firing off. That's true. Oh, the crazy chaos yeah, view yeah, around. Yeah, uh, they no. go in and find these things out. All right. And it's not just that we're going to be showing. Later on, due to the iterative 
sequenced, <laughs> clever, whatever it is. Focused, um, targeted testing. Of Dentonia. Um, we will then be going to uh, uh, the uh, ultimately to the High Elf areas, where you'll be able to experience mm -hmm. all the High Elves doing their things, and you'll be playing the High Elf crews. Do they get three in High Elves? Yeah, most likely they well, do. Do you know what they are? I'm, I don't want to talk about that right now. They're going to be the Archmage. Obviously, they're really, really cool. And it's going to be... Am I allowed to tell them? You can. Swordmaster. Swordmaster. Sure. That's obviously really cool. And then the ping, 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 patow, patow, patow of the... Shadow Warrior. Shadow Warrior. Sure. Uh, so that's part of the iterative system. You don't see those straight away. You'll see those later on as you go mm -hmm. through the timeline. So we open up Dark Elves, show you the Dark Elves fighting High Elves. Really cool. And then later on, uh, we'll be switching it over, bringing it to High Elves, and letting you try those out. You're skipping one, though. No, no, no. I'm just explaining out. Right, okay. All right. We haven't gone through the chest of truth. Oh. The, let's do the chest of truth. Okay. I'll tell you something else. I've got it. What's next, then, Paul? Well, I don't know. You're going to find out, aren't you? Uh, otherwise, no. Oh. What is it? I don't know. Oh. Open, Open world, world RVR. RVR. Good. Jeff and Paul are back. Woo! Jeff's back. Paul's like back. <laughs> God. <laughs> so, open world RVR. Open world RVR. It's like probably the most, my favorite thing to talk about. RVR in general. But That's because our game is an RVR oh, mega yeah. super game. It's true. So the open world stuff that we've been doing, you know, we looked at uh, all the great stuff we were doing in RVR with, uh, with battlefields and objectives and uh, scenarios and the campaign and city sieges, and we we got a lot of feedback from the beta testers. <laughs> That's you being political, right? It is. We got a lot of feedback. It's let not political. We got a lot of feedback from the beta testers. Let me explain testers. to you how this works to the people who wonder how multi-million dollar design areas come out. Um, when we were originally uh, looking at doing Warhammer years ago, one of the things that was asked about was for us to try and give clear blue water f between Warhammer and Dark Age of Camelot. An and awesome the, game. And that's difficult because Dark Age of Camelot kicks but on yes. RVR. We know how to do it. We'd like invented the wheel, the perfect way of motion and excitement and drama. And so they said, could you do it again? But if possible, could you not use the, the wheel? Don't use the RVR systems from uh, Dark Age. So what we did is we went and invented something. We basically invented a pogo stick. And what it is, it's very good. It's very exciting. It is a lot it of fun. It bounces around. It's a lot of fun. But as far as, you know, getting you there and, and efficiency and, and joy and simplicity and getting to the point, while a pogo stick does look like, you know, a lot of nonsense, it's not as good as the wheel. And so what we did is we said, please, 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 can we use some of the cool systems that we know? And our feedback actually bore that in yeah. mind. People oh, yeah. said, we're having a really great time, but, but, but would it kill you to put in keeps some of this other stuff? They said, can you change it? I'm not sure I can bear it much longer. <sighs> Horrible. It's a chaos bear. Horrible. I got this from a player it's as good. well. It's good. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Chaos bears. Yeah. So tell us about... So let's, let's talk about it. Okay. So uh, keeps, of course, is something that we, we really did a great job in in Dark Age of Camelot. It's a nice mug, by the way. Thank you. The player uh, sent this in. It's good. So, we really went back to our roots in Dark Age of Camelot to help enhance the open world RVR. Of course, we still have unbelievably great scenarios. We have the campaign system, we have objectives out in RVR, we have capital city sieges, but the keeps is what really, you know, does it. It's what, it's what, uh, it's the frosting on the cake. Can I say that? Frosting, frosting on, on the cake? Frosting on the frosting cake, because it's a good cake already. So, the keeps is very similar to some of the stuff that we've done in Dark Age of Camelot. It's put into our game a little bit differently. It, uh, 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 works with the uh, zone control and campaign system to help the player progress the war forward. Also, hmm? improvements to things like the way you take objectives, oh, how yeah. you hold objectives, Absolutely. how you keep them. Trying to mutate it from a game of like high-powered tag to more of a strategic mm -hmm. kill. How do I make a difference? How do I actually do something that's what dangerous? Can I, what can I take from you? What are you yeah. going to try to take from me? How do I keep... Why should I defend something? Why should I bother to go off and do stuff? Mm -hmm. How do I get control of a cannon so I can blow people up? Yeah, it's good stuff. Like and of that. course, it, it, with the keeps comes siege equipment, and a lot of the you know the cool things that we first did in Dark Age of Camelot. We'll be doing here also. I'm guessing in the iterative, clever, sequential Dentonian yes. beta thing that I'm not just going to be able to instantly jump in as a no. siege equipment. So what we'll do is after we uh, are testing uh, with Dark Elves, we'll probably go back to Empire Chaos, which is where you'll see the keeps for the first time. We'll actually enable you to level up a little bit artificially so that you can get directly to the testing of the keeps. Oh, cool. Well, by yeah. the way, you're talking about Empire Chaos. I think you might not know. I don't realize how we work. If you go into Empire Chaos 1, mm -hmm. when it gets nighttime in the graveyard, little nerglings get spawned now. 
Oh, very nice. They do, like out of pits of slime. And then they run around like little toddlers and they find these water brackish when they roll around and they <laughs> trip over and they snot on you. Can I get, do I get like Tom and Lollage unlocks and stuff when yeah, I... Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm sure you do. Doing. Yeah. Oh, okay. To the chest! Yes. Okay, excellent. <laughs> the man touch. <laughs> What's next, Paul? I don't what know. What is it? Why do you always think I can't read it with my fingers? Oh. City Siege! City Siege! Excellent. I, I, th well, I thought the squeak could be in this one. The squeak doesn't fit anywhere. But the squeak's cool! It's huge! It is cool. No it squeak? Go. No. We're, we'll be back in a minute. Okay. I heard a rumor that there is a much cooler version of the 10 ton hammer shirt than the one you have. I don't have one of those. Well, I heard there was like a goldy black one that they gave to special people that they loved. Oh, I see. I'm just saying. Look, let's just talk about City Siege and okay. talk about that. So, of course, we've been talking about City Siege for a long time. And as we move into the next targeted and iterative testing of period Gentonia. of beta, you're actually going to get a chance to see some of the City Siege in, in, in action. So one of the things that we're going to do is as we get farther into January, as we're getting through these various phases of testing, uh, we're actually going to let players level up probably to rank 35 to 40, and they're going to actually play through the campaign game. And we're going to have some nice cup. It's good. We're going to have some very specific testing for city siege, for the campaign, for going in, attacking, pillaging, burning, killing, looting. Do I have to level up to get and do that? No, no. We're going to we're going to level you up, give you equipment so you can get right to the testing. So all, all the all the benefits with none of the dreariness. <laughs> It's yeah. dreary. Are we going to do it according, great. according to the crew? We just need to get you there fast. No, I'm just saying, according to the... To the well, what I mean is... <laughs> what I mean is, when we open up... Hey, it's City Siege. We're just going to let you go there straight yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you just beat things up. Uh-huh. I've actually... I've been to I've been into the Old Love area, and uh, I've, I've blown it up. So I'm assuming that with the, awesome. the iterative stage, whatever it is, um, we're actually going to have a bit where we go, Hey, here's Old Dwarf. Burn it to the ground, and then later on we'll go. Hey, here's Altdorf and the campaign system. Trigger the campaign system. Burn it to the ground. We'll do a lot of different types of testing. Yes. City siege. And actually, have you, have you blown up Altdorf? One of the things I did. Uh, you will go in, smack a door down, go in. There's like a lantern on a table. You knock the table, knock it over. It burn, burns the house to the ground. You just things collapse. It's full of smoke. It's, it's awesome. City siege. Awesome. It, it's inevitable. Oh. Should we do another one? Let's do another one. <laughs> All right, <laughs> sixteen more to go. Okay. Don't ask me to have looked at it. Ah, tome of knowledge. knowledge. You got there. If if you if you work really hard, you have some chocolate. War is coming. It says on these yeah, and, chocolate and candies. Can I have a bit? Invite me to beta. <laughs> Doesn't? Oh. Invite me to beta. Beta. It says also on them. Chocolate. It's the wave of the future. It is the wave of the future. It's nice. I am. Um, You've run out of t-shirts. I've run out of shirts. <laughs> we need more t-shirts. What do you got on? I got my t-shirt on. Oh. Did you run out of shirts too? Shush. Oh, okay. So, what we're here to talk about now is the Tome of Knowledge. Tome of Knowledge. So, the things that we've done with the Tome of Knowledge, we've been talking about the Tome for a long time. And, you know, the Tome is everywhere in the game. So, the things that we've done to improve it are things like make it easier to use uh, we've increased the size of it a little bit so you can read it better. Uh, we've changed the, the interface a little bit so that it's easier to navigate through. And we've added an unbelievable number of unlocks. So I went through and I lost count at literally 12,000 unlocks uh, when, when, I, when I went through it. But <laughs> I counted 12,000. Yeah, 12, yeah. yeah. 11,643. Oh, no, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> Here we go. 11,999. Ooh, 12,000. Nah, I'm done. I can't think of another yeah. number. That's as far as it goes. Oh, okay, I, I just gave up at that point. Well, the thing about the Time of Knowledge, um, uh, we had the original uh, uh, concept given us. Mark gave us the concept. We've run with it. We've tidied it up. Uh -huh. We've tried to make it better. Um, we've tried to improve it. Try to incorporate all the good ideas into it. Now, what we've got is we've actually got a strike team. Yeah. Tome of Knowledge strike team, which is a group of dedicated individuals um, who focus on the Tome of Knowledge. And their job is to deliver it from the idea, the concept, the imagination into the final delivery. So if you've been playing the beta before, which uh -huh. you have been, to come mm -hmm. to the, the beta yeah. now, um, what you're going to see is a more unified whole. You're going to see more targeted use of the Tome of Knowledge. It's going to be more obvious that you've unlocked things. Right. What you unlock them for, how often you unlock them, and they are going to result in things. So yeah, lots, of, lots of new rewards. 
titles for doing mm -hmm. stuff, mm -hmm. and when you kill lots of monsters, you get different things. Yeah. When you bother to go and explore, you get different things. Uh, the, actually, it's fun to read. The chapter stories are locked into it. The quest unbelievably cool. Quest logs are all locked into it. Influence loads really good. It's like a unified vision now. And so, as you go in, what you should mm -hmm. find when you talk of knowledge, it was there before, but now you see it is what comes about when you put a focused team on something and they deliver yeah. throughout the game. And we've actually done that with all the elements of the game. We have strike teams who are focused wholly on careers. Strike teams are focused mm -hmm. on RVR. Strike teams are focused on the yeah. UI. Almost every part of the game, so that there's true ownership of, of each piece of the game moving forward. Yeah, so the reason we like it so much is because uh, it's, it's one of those systems where instead of the iterative, systematic, sequential, mm -hmm. spaghetti, beta... <laughs> Thing, Targeted testing. Dentonian. Uh, instead of it being that, uh, this is an example of a system that you switch on that affects everything yeah. and is always visible. Yeah, so everything that you guys are going to be seeing as you get back into beta, from Dark Elves to Open World RVR to City Siege, everything that we've talked about, Tome of Knowledge unlocks are everywhere. So from the moment you enter the game, you'll, you'll get your first Tome of Knowledge unlock. And then as you move through, through the Dark Elf areas that we've been talking about, get to the dragons, get to the chaos stuff, get to the Empire Keeps, there's going to be Tome of Knowledge stuff. And there are other systems going to come online as well, like that, as we do more and more stuff. Mm -hmm. Things like skill mastery system for the careers. Sure. Another sure. example. Crafting. Crafting is another one. Yeah. Harvesting. All Absolutely. those sort of things. So it's not just going to be targeted switch on, switch off. It's going to be the system is now ready to be seen. You will now get to see it, and you get to see it from right. then on. So Tome of Knowledge, it looks great. It does. It's fantastic. It reads well. It plays good. It gives you XP. He likes it. A lot. Next. Oh, 15 more. 15 more. <laughs> Public, Public Quest Loot! loot. Oh, PQ Loot and Influence Gain. So, PQ Loot... Well, and Influence Gain. And Influence Gain. I want to talk about PQs in general. Two. Two, two things more. that you're going to get. So, here's the thing about PQs. It's a glorious system. It's a system that we, uh, you know, have, have come up with that is, is so perfect for our game, yet there's always room to improve. So, one of the things that we got from the beta testers is... No, that's right. Oh, okay, good. No, I agree. One of, with you. one of the things that we got from the beta testers is just feedback on how loot was given out, and also uh, a little bit of feedback on influence gain and what they can get from their influence. What? what? That's one way of spelling it. It is one way. PQ. The right They're way. a great idea. We put them in. We're trying them out. People brought up usual sort of concerns. There's griefing elements. Mm. Why should I do them? Mm. How much influence do I get for them? And how should long does I, it take? Should I just mine the same one? Mm. Which one is most efficient for me to go into? And another important, and I had concerns, uh, which were things like, are they being exciting enough, dramatic enough? Mm -hmm. Are we using them in the right places? Are they going to be, you know, fun and cool enough? Right. And then other people um, basically just got <laughs> obsessed that they didn't get enough fat, fat loot. Stuff. Fat loot. <laughs> and so we went, well, in that case, we need to look at the uh, PQ looting system yeah. and the influence system, because the influence is one of the ways that you get yeah. fat loot. loot. Yes. And, 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 and then it struck us. What we needed to do was create Vegas. Ah. Uh. The drama, uh -huh. the excitement, okay. the skill and the luck Ooh, of like going that. to Vegas That's and losing good. all your money. Yeah. So PQ loot is that bit where we're off, we're doing stuff, mm -hmm. it's staging up, it's becoming mm -hmm. clear what we're doing, I'm earning influence, outcomes like the big the dragons, yeah. and, right. and everyone takes part, they die, and then mm -hmm. when they die, a big chest hits the ground. A big chest hits the ground. Yeah. A big chest hits the ground. <laughs> and at that point, you want to be able to go... I was here. Yeah. I took I part. I did stuff. I did stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I, deserve, I contributed to. I contributed. I deserve a chance at getting some fat loot. Yeah. And what we wanted was a system that was fair, that rewarded people who committed, mm -hmm. people who stayed there the longest, did a lot mm -hmm. of stuff to it. And yet, then, yet still gave everybody a chance. But I gave everyone a chance. Drama, excitement, yeah, luck and good. skill. Vegas, made large. Wait, wait until you see it. And it's cool, because it wanders around. And the important things we then had from uh, people is they said things like, if I win, mm -hmm. right, I want to I have different grades of winning, like come second or third, uh -huh. maybe a fourth choice. But that's if right. I win, I always want to make sure that I get something that's viable, yeah. worthwhile, that, useful. That I can use. And our item team wept. And then they stood up and said, we can do it! Yeah, and our career team... It's just what Justin sounds like, too. We, we, we can, can do it! it. Yeah. Uh, and then our, our career team looked at their level progression, skill power progression grip, <laughs> and they wept. Yeah. And, and, and then Adam... Yeah, Adam stood up. And he went... We can do it! And then, like and then, then he, he yeah. came up with an answer. And then the UI team said, you want what? <laughs> do I have to... And... <laughs> well, the UI team... <clears throat> 
and then they delivered. And that's, that's, that's pr- pretty much it. It's, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> Peak your loop. It's excellent. It's great. It's, it's awesome. like Vegas, ba- Vegas yeah, baby. Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby. Woo! So, another one? Yeah, yeah, let's do another one. What? What? Where are we what? not? CJ says we're out of time. But we've got... I've got 15 more things to talk about. <laughs> yeah, CJ says he has to edit all this and put it out in time for beta. Okay. So CJ says no more. So, again, welcome back to beta. Thank you for coming. We've missed, we've missed you. We've missed you. We have. And we'll see you on the battlefield. He'll kill you. Absolutely. So, um, yeah. big congratulations to Josh then. Ooh. A big congratulations to Josh <laughs> Drescher. He went, who went on a mission to his, to, to Ireland. To Ireland. He went to the Absolutely. other side of the world. To take care of some very important business. Yeah, and he went and met Goa, our partners, mm-hmm. gave some presentations. That's not the business that I'm and, talking about. And, and while he was there, mm-hmm. in he, the in the city of, of Green. But, well, no, he was at Glen du Lachen. Yeah, he got down the land on of one leg's knee. Yep. And proposed. And proposed to Aubrey. Yes. And what did she say? She said yes. Isn't that nice? Oh. Congratulations. Well Josh. done, Josh.